She is from SeaWorld, and so is Chuck. Chuck Rose. Yeah. yeah. Who do we have here? Mike, we are, we are so excited to be here. You know, for many years, our purpose at SeaWorld has been to inspire people, to protect animals, and we wanted to bring an animal, a unique animal right here. This is a yellow stingray found in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. Um, she, she's kind of small right now. She can get to be about 14 inches, like the size of a 14-inch plate right there. Now, are these the kind, if you were out in the surf, you've got to kick your feet to Absolutely. make sure you you got to do that stingray shuffle because they do have that barb, that venomous mm -hmm. barb at the base of their tail, not on the end of the tail, but at the base closer to the body right there. Um, and so, yeah, if we're, if we're walking down at the beach, down at the coast there, shuffle those feet right there. Um, but at SeaWorld, we have an opportunity for people to actually get in the water with stingrays at Aquatica. It's our stingray encounter. And just to make sure the little barb has been trimmed off. It has been trimmed. Okay. It's, it's, it's so simple. It's like trimming our fingernails. It doesn't okay. hurt them, and it also grows back. So, uh, But you can get in the water with the stingrays, and of course, you can see them at our Explorer's Reef. Plenty of opportunities to connect with these beautiful animals. And if you've never been with one of these before, touch it. it it's almost a silky feel. It's like velvet. It, it it's is. like velvet on there, yeah. And the other thing, uh, what they are related to, which you may not realize this, is the shark. Yeah, so a very common thing, a similarity between stingrays and sharks is that they are chondrichthys. That's a scientific name or, or, or classification. Mm -hmm. And it simply means that their skeleton is made out of cartilage. Same thing our ears and our, and our nose are made out of. And the, the hardest, strongest thing in their body are their teeth. Is or their in this teeth, case, yeah. This is what they use for yeah, it's these, teeth. It's these bony plates and they're underneath them because they they spend most of their time at the bottom and so they're they're searching for clams and worms and mollusks down there and they will actually suck them up and they'll use those bony plates to actually crush them and spit out like the shell and then suck in the meat right there. So this would be on the bottom and there'd be another one of these on, on top, top. And they would and they just kind of crush, like crush it right there. And as you can see, there's a whole series of these. They're kind of serrated and just like a shark, they'll actually lose a piece of it, but then it'll grow back. It's just like an escalator. That's fascinating. Yeah, it is fascinating. You know, you can get in the water with them at Aquatica, but you can also, new this year for 2020, believe it or not, you can ride a stingray. I'm telling you the truth, man. But this was not related to a show. Look at that thing, <laughs> That's though. right. Debuting in 2020. It is the largest, tallest, fastest wooden roller coaster in Texas. It's called the Texas Stingray. And that's why we brought a Stingray today. Look at that thing. Look at that monster right there. Yeah, you're going to want to ride that. It goes 55 miles an hour. It's 3,379 feet of track. There's twists, there's turns. There's even a 100-foot tunnel that you go through. It is for every coaster enthusiast opening this year. If you've been on some of the other coasters there, and they are, they're a lot of fun, and they're metal ones, and everything's kind of tight, but wooden roller coasters, they've got the it's, creaks and groans and squeaks it's and everything. A it's, a different, yeah. it's a totally different feel. And I learned about this one here. The, the wheels are made of, like, steel, which is different than other wheels on roller coasters, and so it has a different feel, and it has actually a different sound. It's all this sensory stuff that's going on, and it's fantastic. So, um, Texas... Can we take a ride? What's that? When can we take a ride? And the general public can take a ride on February 29th, but SeaWorld opens on February 22nd. And for our annual pass members on the 22nd and the 23rd, we're going to give them some exclusive ride time. So if you want to ride it early before everyone else, get that season pass. Okay, and then you'll be open on weekends? And we'll be open weekends, and then Aquatica opens on March the 7th. And if you think the Texas Stingray is the only new thing, I'm going to tell you it's not. We are opening something called Tonga Twister, and that's at Aquatica. Again, opening March 7th. Now, Tonga Twister is a body slide, and it's a first of its kind because, you know, you go through the body slide, but as you can see in these pictures right here, it has kind of like a light show, and there's oh, music pumped cool. into there, and it's just a, a, an amazing experience. So, And it opens up on the 22nd, and don't forget, Sea World opens, up opens on, weekends on Aquata, the 22nd. On March 7th. All right. Thank you very much. How fascinating. I love that stingray. You that's could touch so cool looking. Yeah. Nice and oh, smooth. Wow. Nice and wow. smooth. For more information on SeaWorld and Aquatica, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.